സ്വാഗതം ടു വേദാന്തു മലയാളം ചാനൽ വെയർ വി ആർ ഡ്യൂയിങ് അ ക്രാഷ് കോഴ്സ് ഓൺ ദ കീം ടു തൗസൻഡ് ട്വന്റി ത്രീ പ്രിപ്പറേഷൻ റൈറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് അനാ ഖാൻ യുവർ മാത്സ് മാസ്റ്റർ ടീച്ചർ ഫ്രോം വേദാന്തു ആൻഡ് ഐ എം ഹിയർ ടു ഹെൽപ്പ് യു റിവൈസ് all the chapters of mathematics which are going to come in your keem exam in the month of may okay so basically we are doing revision of every chapter in just one shot and in this one shot we are not just revising the topics we are also looking at each and every formula involved in the topic we'll practice questions we are doing pyqs and we are also doing mind maps and formula cheat sheet for your last minute revision okay you will not get such video anywhere else on youtube so just watch this lecture and in one lecture your one chapter will be complete if you watch this complete lecture then you do not need to learn determinants anything else apart from this you will also practice pyqs and you have the formula cheat sheet so what else do you need right so let's start determinants for grade 12 now quickly we will revise all the topics we will solve the questions and then we will jump on to previous year questions and we'll practice them all right let's begin now first what are determinants so determinant is basically we take a square matrix as the input and we return a single number as its output called as determinant by doing a certain procedure what is that procedure i will tell you okay now we denote determinant by this <coughs> delta sign or this sign it is not modulus sign it is determinant sign or we simply write det a okay now remember that in when you are finding determinants number of rows should be equal to number of column it should be a square matrix okay now how do you find determinant so if your matrix is of order 1 order 1 means 1 cross 1 it will have only one element so determinant will be that one element itself okay so for example if your matrix is one cross one matrix having element 1 so determinant of that matrix will be 1 now if your matrix is of order 2 and it is having the following elements a11 a12 a21 a22 so how we do it is we simply take we simply take this diagonal multiply it so it will be a11 into a22 minus the other diagonal a12 into a21 this is how you find out determinant now if it is a 3 cross 3 matrix let's see that also but before that let's let's solve this question so first this diagonal x into x minus x plus 1 into x minus 1 so x into x x square x plus 1 into x minus 1 is x square minus 1 so this is x square minus x square plus 1 cancel we get 1 so 1 is your answer simple now if it is a 3 cross 3 matrix now what you would do so now first of all we will simply select any one row or any one column for expanding select any one row generally what we do we select the first row but if you are seeing zero in any other column and rows then you can select that row and expand along with that and how do you expand suppose you are choosing row number 1 so row number 1 element 1 is a11 okay so you multiply a11 with just cross these two rows and columns so a11 row and column will be removed what is remaining this is remaining so now you find determinant of this part how you find determinant of this part multiply this a22 into a33 minus a23 into a32 similarly now you choose now you choose the second element so you will choose a12 but remember this will be minus why minus because i plus j will give you the sign if i is 1 j is 3 so uh, j is 2 so it is 3 odd number means negative even number means positive now cut the row and column of a12 and find out 
determinant of remaining ones. So it will be A21, A33 multiplied minus A23 into A31. Similarly, last element, what do you have? Lastly, you have A13. So A13 multiplied with, remove this A21 into A32 minus A22 into A31. Like this, you find out determinant of a matrix. Generally, a 3 cross 3 matrix is asked always. Now, for example, let's take this example and quickly find out the determinant. What we will do? First, I will select 1, multiply it with 3 zeros are 0, 1 zeros are 0. Okay. Minus 2. So, now I am taking 2. So, I will multiply it minus 1 into 0, 0, 4 into 0, 0. Oh, we are just getting zeros. Next, 4. 4 will be multiplied with 1 into 1 minus 1, 4, 3 is a 12. So, this is 0, this is 0, this is 4 into minus 1 minus 12 is minus 13. So, minus 13 into 4 is uh, 2 carrier 4, 5, 6, 62. 4, 3 is a 12 to oh, 52, sorry. Yeah. 52 but minus 52. So, this is the value of determinant. Okay. Delta value. Simple. Okay. So, for determinant of matrix of n cross n also we will do same thing. Take the first row, expand it along with the first row or first column or second row, second column, anything. Now, there are some properties of determinants which are important and you should know. Property number one, the value of determinants remains unchanged if its rows and columns are interchanged. So, if you exchange row one with column row two, its value, its determinant will remain unchanged. Or if you exchange row 1 with column 1, basically if you find transpose, then also the determinant will remain same. Second property, this is very important. If any two rows or any two columns of a determinant are interchanged, then the sign of the determinant changes. Okay, so if you change the row and column, interchange it then the sign of the determinant will change okay so if you exchange row 1 with row 2 then determinant will become negative every time you do that okay next this is very very important property if any two rows and any two columns are same to same then the value of determinant is zero suppose you have determinant 1 1 1 1 1 1 a b c what will be determinant value? You can directly write 0 because column 1 and column 2 are ditto, same to same. So, if they are same to same, then determinant will be definitely 0 without even calculating. Okay. Next, if each element of a row or a column is multiplied by a constant, then the total value of the determinant is multiplied by that constant. Okay. Now, if some or the elements of rows or column are expressed of uh, sum of two or more terms and the determinant can be expressed as sum of two or more determinants. Now, this is not of much use. Next is the value of determinant is not altered by adding or subtracting multiples of any row in any other row. That means you can do it like this. that row 1 can become row 1 minus 2 times of row 2. You can do operations like this. It will not change the determinant value. Now, all these properties are super important. So, remember them. Okay. Now, giving this question as homework for you guys, you have to comment and answer it and I will check who has answered it correctly. If you have understood how to find out determinant, just find out the value of k. Simple question. This type of question can come in your exam also. Okay. Next, you can also find area of a triangle using determinant. How? Simply, the, the vertex of the triangles. They are will they will be points x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. What you have to do is you just make a matrix of it. What kind of matrix? You make the matrix like this x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1, x3, y3, 1. Okay. You make the determinant like this, the matrix like this, and then you find the determinant. Once you find the determinant, you will get the 
area of the triangle. Clear? Okay. How you can find out area of triangle? So, suppose your triangle is given that your triangle is like this 2, 3, 3, 1 and uh, 1, 2. Like this your uh, triangle is there. Okay. So, how you will find out area of triangle? Area of triangle will be determinant of 2, 3, 1. 1, 2, 1 and 3, 1, 1. Just find determinant of this matrix and you will get the area of triangle. Okay. Next, very important minors and cofactors of a matrix. This is used in calculating adjoint and inverse of a matrix. Okay. Now, what is minor of a matrix? Now, for minor, what we simply do is, suppose you have a matrix like this and you want to calculate minor of this matrix. Minor of this matrix will be again a 3 cross 3 matrix, which will have elements. What will be the elements? So, we will call them as M11, M12, M13, okay, M21. Habit of writing A, M21, M22, M23, like M31, M32, M33. But what is M11? How do we calculate this? So basically, remember, uh, yeah, here, let's take this example. So this is the matrix. This is the element of the matrix. How do I found, find out M11? So minor of A11 is... Ignore the column and the row of A11 and find determinant of remaining. Just like we are doing in determinants, like that only, but here we are not multiplying anything. So it will be simply A22, A23, A32, A33. So M11 will be A22, M11 will be A22 into A33 minus a32 into a23 like this okay similarly m12 will be what observe here so m12 is a12's minor so remove the row remove the column what is left a21 into a23 minus a31 into a23 so this into this minus this into this. Clear? Similarly, if you want to calculate M33, what will that be? A33 minor, remove the column, remove the row. Multiply this, multiply this, subtract. So, A11 into A22 minus A12 into A21. That's it. So, this is minor of the matrix. Now, similarly, you have cofactor of the matrix. Now, cofactor is very, very similar to minor of the matrix. So, cofactor is nothing but minor of the matrix multiplied with minus 1 to the power i plus j. So, here i is 1, j is 1. So, it will be what? It will be 1 plus 1. So, this is m11 into minus 1 to the power 2, which is m11, right? Similarly, c12 will be m12 multiplied with minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2, m12 into minus 1 to the power 3, which is minus of m12. So, basically, if you look at the 3 cross 3 matrix, what will happen is, when you are calculating cofactors, na, there, what you just do, you just multiply the sign like this. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Okay. If you don't remember this, just add and you will understand. 1 plus 1, 2. 1, uh, one plus 2, 3. Neg odd number. Similarly here, 2 plus 1, 3. Odd number. 2 plus 3, 5. Odd number. So, like this, you will automatically remember that. Odd number means negative sign, even number means positive sign, okay? So, understood what is minor, what is cofactor, okay? So, here we have calculated minor like this. Now, what will be the cofactor? So, similarly, if C11 is asked, it will be M11 into plus 1. C12, remember plus, minus, plus. 
So C12 will be M12 into minus 1 means negative of M12. C33, A33 remember plus minus plus. So it will be similarly M33 into plus 1 not minus 1. Like this we can calculate. Okay. Now we come to the important topic. How do we calculate adjoint of a matrix? Now, adjoint of a matrix is denoted by ADJ. Adjoint of matrix A is equal to is equal to transpose of transpose. We have learned in matrix chapter now. Transpose of cofactors. Transpose of cofactors. So what are my cofactors? My cofactors are C11, C12, C13, C21, C22, C23, C31, C32, C33. These are my cofactors. So if I calculate transpose of this, I will get adjoint of matrix A. Okay. So suppose my matrix is this. From this matrix, I am calculating cofactors. Now, from this cofactor, I am calculating transpose of the cofactors, which will give me adjoint of A. Okay. Now, suppose you have a 2 cross 2 matrix, what will be adjoint of A? Simple. First, you calculate cofactors. What will be the cofactors of a 2 cross 2 matrix? Very interesting, hai na? So, cofactor of this will be simply 4. So, first of all, it will be 4. Now, here, cofactor of 3 will be 1, right? Cofactor of 1 will be 3. And similarly, cofactor of 4 will be 2. Now, do transpose of this. You will get 4, 1, 3, 2. This will be your adjoint of A. Alright, understood how you find out cofactor, how you find out adjoint. Okay. So, what did we just now observe? We just now observed that if it is a 2 cross 2 matrix, we do not need to calculate cofactors. It is simply... If you are calculating adjoint of A, it will be simply in the first diagonal, you interchange the elements. In the second diagonal, you change the sign of the elements. For example, if your matrix is A, B, C, D, okay, adjoint of this matrix will be change these two, means D here, A here, okay, change sign of these two means B will become minus B, C will become minus C. That's it. You don't need to calculate, you don't need to transpose, don't need to find cofactor directly. You can write it like this for a 2 cross 2 matrix. Now, this is important. Every year question is asked based on this formula. So, if your matrix is this, then your adjoint will be this, okay? AD becomes DA, BC becomes minus B minus C, okay? Now, one important property is there that if you multiply a matrix with its adjoint, then you get determinant of the matrix multiplied with identity matrix because I, determinant is a number, number multiplied with identity matrix. So, this is an important property. You will always get this a matrix multiplied with adjoint is determinant multiplied with identity matrix okay now next is what is singular matrix this was also asked in 2020 question paper or even 2021 question paper also okay what is singular matrix if determinant of a is equal to 0 then a matrix is called as singular matrix so simple if your determinant is 0, then your matrix is singular, right? Now, a square matrix is non-singular if determinant is not equal to 0, right? So, if your determinant of A is not equal to 0, then A is a non-singular matrix. Simple. So, you just find out determinant. If it is 0, you tell singular. If it is not 0, you say it is not singular. 
okay now some important theorems related to it if a and b are non singular matrices of same order then a into b and b into a are also non singular matrices okay so if determinant of a is not zero determinant of b is not zero then determinant of a into b will also be not zero okay similarly the determinant of the product of matrices is equal to the product of their respective determinants what an interesting rule determinant of a into b is equal to determinant of a into determinant of b directly you can calculate like this all right okay now coming to the last and important topic of this chapter every year question is asked from here that is inverse of a matrix now what is inverse in the matrix chapter also i have taught you inverse inverse is basically if you have a matrix then if you multiply it with inverse you should get identity matrix what is identity matrix 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 okay then this matrix is called as inverse now how do we calculate inverse so inverse formula is 1 upon a determinant of a multiplied with adjoint of a matrix this is the formula for calculating inverse okay now there are some theorems related to it a square matrix a is inversible if and only if it is a non singular matrix obviously if determinant of a is not equal to 0 only then we can find a inverse because if determinant is 0 1 by 0 will be infinity so there will be no inverse right now coming to the most the most the most important every year every year they will ask one question from this it is super important to understand this okay application of determinants and matrices may you will learn how to find out solution of a system of linear equation using inverse of a matrix okay suppose you have three linear equation a1x b1y c1z so x y z will be your variables a b c will be their coefficients and d1 d2 d3 will be value of the equation then you can represent this in the form of matrix how so first you will form a matrix with the coefficients okay a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 okay if you multiply this with another matrix x y z what is x y z the variables the solution of the equation this is what solution of the equation okay so if you multiply this with this what should you get you should get d1 d2 and d3 right okay so if a matrix is this x matrix is this and b matrix is this how can you find the value of x how you will find out solution of equation so if a into x is b then x will be a inverse into b right so the value of x because a will go this side it will become inverse so x will be a inverse into b matrix so first you have to find out a inverse then you will multiply it with b then you will get the value of x y z and this is how we find out solution okay now we need to learn about the systems of linear equation and the solution possible okay now if first you check the determinant of a if the determinant is not zero then you say that it has a unique solution and consistent system of equation unique solution means x y and z will have a unique value suppose 2 3 4 it cannot have more than one value it will have only a single value unique solution but if your determinant is coming zero then if your determinant is zero you have to check two things first 
एट ज्वाइंट ऑफ ए इन टू बी इज इट जीरो और नॉट इफ इट इज नॉट जीरो then it means that your equation has no solution means x y z has no values but if adjoint of a into b is zero then you say that either it has no solution or it has infinitely many solution which i am unable to find okay so like this you have to just check that what situation is coming up based on that only you can tell it has a unique solution it has no solution or no solution or infinitely many solution understood okay now let's practice some pyqs by doing questions only you will understand what type of questions are going to come in your exam right so get set ready question number 1 on your screen find out the value of this determinant how first i told you that you can multiply any row with a constant number so here i will calculate my determinant is equal to determinant of b c c a a b a cube b cube c cube 1 by a 1 by b 1 by c right now what i will do is i will multiply or we just write it like this i'm just writing it in shortcut row number 3 is row number 3 into abc okay so what i am doing here is i have to divide the determinant by abc because i am multiplying the determinant by abc only then it will remain same so what i am doing i am multiplying the row number 3 with abc so what will happen row number 1 same to same row number 2 same to same row number 3 will become abc divided by a abc divided by b abc divided by c now what will this be 1 upon abc into bc ca ab a cube b cube c cube this will be a a cancel bc ca ab now you observe what do we observe here this row and this row are same to same so row number 1 and row number 3 are same and i have told you property remember there is a property which says that if two rows are same then determinant is equal to 0 so what is your answer determinant of this matrix is 0 we don't even need to calculate it all right so just try to make any row or any column same then you can directly say that determinant is 0 okay next question if this matrix is singular then what is the value of k so how do we find out the value of k so what is a singular matrix singular matrix is determinant should be zero so determinant is zero let's find out determinant so determinant will be 1 into 64 za 24 2 into k 2k minus 2 into 63 za 18 and 4k then minus 1 into 63 za wait uh 2 ha huh. or oh, not 6 sorry minus 1 into 3 2 za 6 and 4 4 za 16 so we get here 24 minus 2k then plus 218 za 36 24 za 8k 16 minus 6 10 10 minus 1 minus 10 So this is twenty four minus ten is fourteen. Fourteen plus thirty six. So I'll just calculate minus two k minus eight k plus thirty six plus fourteen. So this is minus ten k plus fifty is equal to zero. Is equal to zero. Is equal to zero. Is equal to zero. Because determinant will be zero for singular matrix. So minus ten k is minus fifty. So this implies that k is equal to 50 upon 10 what is 50 upon 
five. That is your right answer. Simple. So remember, what is a singular matrix? Determinant is zero. Okay. Next, if A inverse is this into this, then A is what? Now remember, I told you, if you have a two cross two matrix A, B, C, D, then the inverse of this matrix is determinant AD minus BC multiplied with interchange D, A minus B minus C. Like this we do. Now here, if you observe that 3 into 3 is 9, 5 into 4 is 20. So 9 minus 20 is minus 11. So it should be minus 11, but it is plus 11. So what we will do, first of all, we will make it minus 11. So if you are making it minus 11, then this also sign will change. Minus 3 will become plus 3. 4 will become minus 4. 5 will become... Uh, minus 5 and 3 will minus 3 will become 3. Now you find out the adjoint of it. So, what will be the adjoint? Interchange 3 goes here, 3 goes here. Sign change 4 uh, minus 4 becomes plus 4, minus 5 becomes plus 5. Now, this is your A matrix 3, 4, 5, 3. 3, 4, 5, 3. Okay. Next question. The system of equation has what? No solution, finite solution, infinite solution, unique solution, unique non-trivial solution. For this, first you have to find out determinant of this matrix. So, what is the matrix? Matrix is 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 6, 5, minus 3, 2. Now, first step is to find out, uh, this is your, suppose you call it A matrix. Okay, first you find out determinant of A. Okay, so determinant of A is 1 into 3 2 is a 6, 6 3 is a 18, minus 1 into 3 2 is a 6, 6 5 is a 30, plus 2 into 3 2 is a, no, no, 3 3 is a 9, 5 3 is a 15. So we get here. 18 plus 6, 24. Then this is 6 minus 30 is uh, 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 6 minus 30 is uh, minus 24. Minus 24 minus 1 is plus 24. And this is 2 times of minus 24. So this is 2 times of plus 24, 2 times of minus 24. So this will be equal to 0. So, determinant is 0. What does that mean? If your determinant is 0, it has no solution or it has infinite solution. Right? So, if we look at the options, both the options are there. So, we have to check further, check more. What should you check more? Now, next you will check adjoint. I am writing it here. Next step is adjoint of A into B is 0 or not. Okay. So, first you calculate what is adjoint of A. Adjoint of A, you have to calculate cofactors of A. So, first step is to calculate cofactor of A. So, your A matrix is 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 6, 5, minus 3, 2. So, first I will calculate cofactor of this matrix. Cofactor. What will be cofactor? So, first cofactor will be 3, 2 is a 6 minus 6, 3 is a 18. So, 6 plus 18. Okay. Next, minus sign into, remove this 3, 2 is a 6, 6, 5 is a 30. Then, plus sign into, uh, 3, 3 is a 9 and 5, 3 is a 15. Next, this will be, yeah, uh, for uh, C2, 1, first row, second column, 2, 1 is a 2, 3, 2 is a 6, no, plus 6, yeah. Uh, but here, you have to multiply with minus sign, okay, then plus sign, it will be remove this and this 2 1 is a 2, 5 2 is a 10. 
then remove this row and this row you have minus 3 minus 5 but multiplied with minus sign then you have removed this row and this row 6 1 the 6 3 2 the 6 then you have uh, this again 6 minus 6 lastly you have removed this 3 minus 3 so you are getting cofactor of the matrix is 24 24 minus 24 then minus 8 minus 8 plus 8 then 0 0 0 so this is the cofactor this is cofactor now you have to find out adjoint of a adjoint of a will be transpose so 24 24 minus 24 minus 8 minus 8 8 0 0 0 now multiply adjoint of a with b matrix 4 17 and 27 you multiply adjoint of A with B matrix to check if it has no solution or single solution. So, what you will do? So, our adjoint of A was 24, uh, 24, sorry, minus 24, minus 24, plus 24, uh, right? Then it was, um, give me one second, 2. And uh, 3, 2, so 6 plus 6 minus 8, huh? The minus 8 and uh, 8, 8, right? It will be 8 for this matrix will have 2 and 5, 2, so 10, minus 10, minus 8, minus 8, uh, and uh, middle one will be positive minus 8 right okay and lastly it was 0 0 0 now you multiply this with 4 17 and 27 so what do you get when you do the multiplication you get minus 24 into 4 then uh, minus 8 into 17 then 0 into 27 then you calculate minus 24 into 4 minus 8 into 17 and 0 into 17 then it is 24 into 4 24 into 17 24 into 27 now you don't need to multiply see you just need to check is it equal to 0 no it is not equal to 0 because this will have some value it is not adding up to 0 it is adding up to a negative value so this is not 0 and you remember if adjoint of A into B is not equal to 0, it implies that the, it has no solution. So, the answer is it has no solution. Okay. Next, if A, B, C, D is the inverse of this matrix, then D equals to what? Very simple. Simply, you have to find out. This is your A matrix. You have to find out A inverse. So, A inverse is 1 upon determinant of a into adjoint of a so how you calculate determinant of a this multiplied with this 3 1s are 3 7 5s are 35 multiplied with adjoint of a how we calculate adjoint you remember adjoint of a will be 1 will go there minus 3 will go there okay so minus 3 will come here 1 will come here 5 will become minus 5, 7 will become minus 7. So, it will be minus 3, minus 5, minus 7 and 1. So, this is A inverse. Now, they are asking you the value of D. So, this is equal to A, B, C, D. So, what is in the place of D? In the place of D, you have 1 upon minus 38 into minus 3, minus 7, minus 5, 1. So, basically 1 upon minus 38. So, this implies that D is equal to 1 upon minus 38. This is your answer. Minus 1 by 30. Okay. Next. If A matrix is this, then sum of all the diagonal entries of A inverse will be dash. So, first you have to find out what is A inverse. Let's find out cofactors of A matrix, okay? 
So what are the cofactors of A matrix? Quickly, cofactor of A matrix will be for 0 we have 2 1s are 2, 3 1s are 3. Okay. For 1 we remove this. 1 into 1, 3 into 3, 9. But we'll have minus sign. Then last element we have uh, 1 minus 6. Then we have removing these two rows 1 into 1, 2 ones are 2. But again minus sign. Then we have uh, removing this 0 1 the 0, 3 2 the 6. Then we have removing this 0 1 the 0, 3 1 the 3. Then lastly we have removed this 3 1 the 3, 2 2 the 4. And minus of uh, removing this 0 minus 2 positive of this is again negative here. Uh, lastly we have 0 minus 1. So cofactors of A is minus 1, 8, minus 5, then uh, 1, minus 6, 3, 3 minus 4, minus 1, 0 minus 2, plus 2, minus 1. So this is cofactor of A. Now you find out what is adjoint of A. So adjoint of A will be transpose of this matrix. So minus 1, 1, minus 1, 8, 6, 2, minus 5, 3, minus 1. So this is adjoint of A. Now you have to find out A inverse. But before that you have to find out determinant of A. So let's calculate determinant of A. So, determinant of A is 0 into minus 1, 1 into 8 and 2 fives are 10. Right? Yeah. So, uh, oh no, 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 sorry. This row multiplied, right? So, this is 0 plus 1 and minus 2. 0, 1 into 1. 2 and minus 2. So, you are getting minus 2 is your determinant of A. Now, A inverse is basically adjoint of A divided by determinant of A, right? What is A inverse? Adjoint of A divided by determinant of A. So, just divide. It will be minus 1 by 2, 8 by 2, 5 by 2, 1 by 2, minus 6 by 2, 3 by 2, minus 1 by 2, 2 by 2 minus 1 by 2. And the question is asking sum of all the diagonal entries. Oh, sorry. Determinant is minus 2. So, we will divide by minus 2. Minus, 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 minus. Okay. So, this is the first diagonal whose value is required. So, it is 1 by 2 plus 3 plus 1 by 2. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. So, 4 should be the answer. 4 is the answer. Very lengthy question. I don't know how they are asking this in Keem exam. It's super lengthy, super time taking. Okay, another question. If the function is basically a determinant of this matrix and x is equal to minus 9 is a root of this matrix, then the other roots are what? Again, you have to find out Okay, you just don't need to find out inverse, you just need to find out determinant. So, let's quickly find out determinant. So, f of x will be equal to determinant of this matrix is what? x into x square minus 6 2 is 12 minus 3 into 2x minus 14 plus 7 into uh, 12 minus 7x. Quickly multiply, you get x cube minus 12x minus 6x plus uh, 4, uh, 3 is uh, 12, 52 and uh, 7, 2 is 14 and 84, 7, 7 is 49x is equal to 0. Now this is x cube and uh, 12 and 6 is 18. So 49 plus 18 is 
767. So you have minus 67 x and you have 52 plus 84 is uh, 4 plus 2. Four plus two, six, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen, one, fifty two or forty two. We get here four, three, is that oh, sorry, this is forty two. Yeah, so it is one twenty six is equal to zero. Now the question is saying x is equal to minus nine is a root of this equation. What does that mean? So here it means that my f of x is x cube minus 67 x plus 126 okay now this is one of the root of the equation so i have to simply find out the other two roots that means i have to convert it into a quadratic equation quickly convert it into a quadratic equation x plus 9 it is a root of the equation let's divide my cubic equation so i will divide x square uh plus 9x 9x square minus minus so it will be minus 9x square minus 67x plus 126 so this will be uh minus 9x so minus 9x square 81x plus one uh then as it is positive positive cancel so this is uh 14x plus 126 so here it is 14 so, when you multiply 14x plus 126 is 0. So, this is what we are getting. x square minus 9x plus 14. Let us simplify this. x square minus 9x plus 14. We can write it as x square minus 7x minus 2x plus 14. So, x taken common, x minus 7 minus 2 common, x minus 7. So, we have x minus 7 into x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, therefore, x is 2, x is 7. That these are the other two roots. Again, a very lengthy question asked for 4 marks. Next, if A matrix is this, A inverse is this, then x will be what? Let's find out. So, A inverse is 1 upon determinant of A into adjoint of A. So, what is determinant of this matrix? 2x square minus 0. So, it is 1 upon 2x square into adjoint of A. Adjoint of A is interchange x 0 minus x 2x. Interchange this, sign change this. Okay. Now, it is given this is equal to 1, 0, minus 1, 2. So, what is the value of x? Now, just calculate here. So, this implies that x upon 2x square is equal to 1. x, x cancel. x goes there. x is equal to 1 by 2. That's your answer. x is equal to 1 by 2. Okay. Next question. I guess this is the last question. Super, super easy question. What is the answer of this? Directly, you can do what you know. If you look here, this is a plus b plus c, a plus b plus c, a plus b plus c. So, what I will simply do, row 3, no, not row 3. Column 3 becomes column 3 plus column 2, okay? So, the determinant will become 1, 1, 1, a, b, c, a plus b plus c, a plus b plus c, a plus b plus c. Now, what I will do? I will take out a plus b plus c as common. So, if I take out a plus b plus c as common from column number 3, determinant will become 1, 1, 1, a, b, c, 1, 1, 1. Right? I will take out a plus b plus c common. This is common. This is common. 1, 1, 1. Now, what is the determinant? 0. Why 0? This and this are same to same. If two columns are same to same, determinant is 0. So, you can directly say that your determinant is 0. Now, this was quicker question.
Okay, guys. I know determinants is a very, very lengthy solving chapter, but every year questions are asked a lot from matrices and determinants. So you should know the concepts. Maybe this year some easy question is asked, so you should attempt it. But if it is too lengthy, na, if it is taking too much of your time, you can skip it and do the question which are taking less time. Okay, let's summarize what we have learned. I have made the mind map here. What are determinants? How do you find out determinant of order one, order two, and order three matrix? Then, what is minor of element, cofactor of the element, adjoint of matrix, and the properties of adjoint of matrix? Then, what is singular matrix, non-singular matrix, and how we find out inverse of a matrix? Lastly, about system of linear equations, when do we say that the system of linear equations have what type of solution? So, if determinant is not 0, it has unique solution. If determinant of 0, but this is not 0, it has no solution. If determinant is 0 and this is also 0, it has no or infinite solution. Okay. So this is the complete formula cheat sheet and mind map of the entire chapter. You can use this for your revision. So just with three, three pages itself, you can revise the entire chapter. Okay, so we have practiced a lot of different type of questions. And if you just watch this lecture and do just practice of the question I have taught you today, this chapter is done. No need to do it again. Okay, so if you enjoyed today's lecture and you found it useful, don't forget to like, share the video and subscribe right now. See you all in the next class. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining. See you next time.